Allah There's only one God and Muhammad is his messenger Allah La ilaha illallah Coming to number seven, this excuse is about people who wish to follow the middle path. And I will put it in quotes, the middle path. Or they say, Myana Ravi, we have been commanded to keep uh, walking the middle path. Now, what the person he's trying to say is that, look, brother, I'm not an extremist. I will do some good and I will do some bad. I will walk the middle path. I will pray my Isha and then I'm going to party all night. Walk the middle path. I'm not an extremist like you who prays Isha and then who prays the Hajjad and all of these things. I'm not an extremist, Alhamdulillah. I will pray Isha and then I have some worldly business to take care of, so I will do that. I will not pray five times a day like an extremist. I will pray Fridays. That's it. That's how I'm walking the middle path. Or I will not follow the whole of the Quran. I will follow some parts of it. I do not want to be an extremist. I, just I will just follow some of the chapters. Others I will not follow. I will reject whatever does not suit me in the Quran and this is how I justify to myself that I'm walk and I'm walking the middle path. This, dear brothers and sisters, is exactly what we have been warned against. This was a habit of the Jews who used to believe in part of the scripture and reject the other parts. They used to come to the Prophet ﷺ with rulings that what do we need to do in this case and when he would ask them that open your books and read from it, they would literally put their hand on the part which they did not wish to follow and they would keep reading the other passages. This is how much was the hypocrisy in their hearts. So when you say I want to walk the middle path, it never means that you do half good and half bad. See what we imagine in our minds is that the life of the Prophet ﷺ was one extreme and the shaitan is the other extreme and we are Alhamdulillah in the middle. Nothing could be further from the truth. The life of the Prophet ﷺ was the middle path. His life, all of it was the middle path which we must strive and struggle every single day to follow. But what we have done is we have put him on one extreme and we put shaitan on the other extreme and we sit in the middle somewhere. That look, I'm not doing these, these bad things and I'm not doing this either. I'm walking the middle path. Whereas if you look at the bigger graph, you put Prophet Wasallam's life in the middle, you put shaitan on one side and you put another shaitan on the other side. Because this shaitan on this side is going to the other extreme. He is uh, doing things into religion which are not uh, authorized by the Prophet ﷺ. Like for example, he says, I want to become a monk. I want to go in a, in a forest and, and live in a cave and all of those things. I want to disconnect with everyone, my family. I don't have nothing to do with my wife and children. I leave all of those responsibilities and I want to worship all by myself. This is one extreme. And the other extreme is, I don't want to worship at all. And then the middle path is the path of Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. And this is what we must try to do every single day. We cannot obviously completely mimic it, but inshallah Allah knows what we can and cannot do. So we should try our level best to do as best we can. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 208, Ya you lazeed amanut khulu fi silmi kaffa. O you who believe, enter into Islam completely, wholeheartedly, absolutely. Dive into Islam. This means that we must dive into all of Islam, not parts of Islam that, you know, enter into Islam just a little bit every now and then, whatever suits you know. Enter into Islam completely, submerge yourself into the deen, number one. Again in Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22, verse 11. <laughs> وَإِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ فِتْنَةٌ انْقَلَبَ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ خَسِرَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْخُسْرَانُ الْمُبِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And among mankind is he who worships Allah as it were upon the edge. He worships Allah on the edge, not, not in the middle, not completely, on the edge, on the sides. As if he's in doubt. If good befalls him, he is content therewith. But if a trial befalls him, he turns his back on his face, reverting back to disbelief. He loses both this world and the hereafter. That is the evident loss. 
So now this is a quality of the hypocrites, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing in Surah Hajj, that the Mu'min, the Muslim is commanded to enter into Islam completely. And a quality of the Munafiq is that he is following Islam on the sidelines. He is scared to surrender completely. He is afraid that if I do complete submission to Allah, what will people say? And I might look like the odd one out. He is afraid of these things. So that's why he is trying to do it on the sidelines. And I will do a little bit so that if, if I get caught red-handed on the day of judgment, I'll say, look, Allah, I did pray a little bit. So this is not acceptable to Allah. Allah says, you want to enter Islam? Enter Islam completely.